Welcome back to Stingy K TV. And as you see, we got us a good old little whack 100 flaming brick baby video up that we finna react to. So what I need you to do, if you ain't subscribed, I need you to press the subscribe button. Like the video and leave a comment down below. Let's go. What the like that club off TV? That shit already. And shout out to Clubhouse TV 2.0. Just type Clubhouse TV because he got a couple channels, man. So he stay he 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 stay dropping that heat, man. So y'all make sure y'all go check bro page out and go see what he got going. Video. Subscribe to Clubhouse TV on YouTube. Let's go. I'm always ahead of the curve, right? And for years I've been hearing. Years I've been hearing. <laughs> Oh, whack, you know, you a convict nigga, street nigga, all this shit, and this, this, <laughs> this. I say, yo, whack 100 is an entertainer, right? I'm on social media. Everybody, everybody, everybody that has something to say about my movement. It hasn't been based on my movement. It's been based on they trying to understand and how could they move the same way. Because here we about to watch, right? We about to watch these two street dudes. It's at least three people involved. One person I don't know, Brick Baby, he doing some busted shit, disrespecting all kinds of saying shit he ain't saying to D Dub. You got Spotty Face calling him and somebody's recording. And then it takes the act to upload to YouTube. I get right to it. Anything that he talking on, right? Man, that's a fact. Like that's. I a understand <laughs> that they don't give a fuck about Brick Baby. They trying to expose it, and I understand that they know Brick Baby ain't gonna tell the truth about what the conversation was. So I get why Spody did what he did. But I also understand that Spody is building himself to, right? He's building himself to come into this podcast, this blogger lane. And my whole thing to everybody, hey, bro, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear shit from nobody's mouth. Won't nigga just say, damn, that nigga got to it before me. Instead of all this extracurricular shit. Jay Prince, them over there in the pickle. All you niggas from Houston, all you niggas was running your mouth. Your whack J Prince right, you a street nigga, you been to the pen. You shouldn't even be doing no business, even interviewing a nut with 6ix9ine, he told. Right? We revealed that your man finessed two times is a rat. He go to paperwork, the three victims is free. He told. Y'all gonna drop him, y'all gonna release him? Y'all can't say what Wax said. Wax said rapist you ain't did no elderly abuse and you ain't fuck with no kids i'm gonna do my business with whoever you told with just on them to do something to you ain't my business right nah whack it don't go like that all right jay prince we don't see y'all y'all ain't disassociated from finesse two times y'all still with him matter of fact you niggas went too far to send one of your securities up there to the other motherfucker that finesse was getting into and lined him up that's another conversation, right? So everybody that been talking all this shit, come to find out all these niggas, even on Clubhouse, all these niggas got YouTube channels, every last one of them. YouTube is the way, man. Hey, I'm telling you, don't have a YouTube, don't make it right now. And they getting their content, which is their content, and they uploading it just like this got uploaded. So we're about to listen, and we're about to see, right? Spody Face from Neighborhood 40 Crip, called Brick Baby, or somebody else record, just like they recorded when they went to No Jumper, to show they was at No Jumper. I don't know why he doing it, because if he'd have said, nigga, when we pulled up, nigga would have been like, nigga, you wasn't up there, you didn't talk to Adam, you didn't this, you did that. So niggas gotta document this shit. So basically, <clears throat> Adam is saving, bro, is what Wax saying. Adam, watching this, bro. That shit, that shit go through. Bro, let it play out since you started it up. 
convicted, right? A nigga can't go to jail for nothing Spotify face just did. Only thing he's showing is what it really is. And now a brick baby in the situation where he got to face DW. However that go, right? So we're going to press play and we're going to witness street niggas who are now woke to social media and clicks and streams and views is the new drug game. This is all, this is what it is. You really want to know. Niggas selling content. Right. Sell content. Hashtag. Sell content. That's what niggas is doing out here, bro. Wait, no. If you ain't seen me, I just slipped through. Bop. Look at me. Y'all looking at me right now, man. Like that. We selling content now. But we working our way up the ranks to sell content. It's a new drug game. Fuck it. I can't rap. Rapping is down or it takes too long to get off here too. I can't sell dope because niggas is telling and and that's fucked up. They giving niggas all day and every day. Can't fuck with fit and all they give you life. So fuck it. I can sit back, do this, and collect money and be free. Have a few beats with a few niggas, a few fights, maybe a bang out or two every other year, whatever, but fuck it, I'm cool. Get paid. Niggas like 1090 Jake, they inspire these dudes. When they say, yo, I made 600, I made I made a million. I got this, I got that, they inspire these dudes. So now- And shout out to everybody that heard some motivation like that and got on they shit. Cause there's some niggas out here that just watch the other niggas get money. Like if you put your mind to getting some money off this shit, salute. I hope you, uh, I know you gonna. Now we're gonna sit back and we're gonna hear this phone call that Fody Face from Fody Crip called Brick Baby. And he's questioning him about the things he did when DW dissed, dissed, dissed the whole neighborhood card and, and whatever went on with Crip Mac. We're going to listen to him tell this dude all kind of shit that he never said to DW Flame. Let's go. When I told Cub, like, when you put it out there like that, and that's not behind closed doors, now you're making the scene to the public like it's something more than what it is. I know what my homies on. Niggas ready to light on you, niggas. And I know what your homies on. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, I, as far as flame, it's like, nigga, don't, don't start a war, bro, when it's not a war. That's why I, 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 I didn't appreciate what that with Cub. But as far as you, it's like, when you on that platform, bro, like, you gotta, like, oh, I just, hey, just, just for the public to know, just me and my nigga, like, if y'all would have checked it right then and there, it wouldn't have been no issue, cuz. It would not have not had been no issue, cuz. Now, now, all right, boom. Right. The nigga scared and start studying. Look, this is off camera. He don't even know that he's being recorded, y'all. Nigga is on the phone stuttering to another nigga. Leave a comment in the section if you stuttered on the phone when a nigga was calling you, probably taking about what you. You get that off. So now, Adam, give me my own show. Let me tell you where I'm coming from, why I couldn't even pay attention. I haven't been point guard my own show. I've been letting it be a free fall. So Cubs got me on the one mic, get everybody doing this. So when Gordy was starting up that other shit, I don't know if you see how it... By the way, it's that same blunt from the last video. Going from the last video. Shout out the vibes. Vibes. Ultra thin. I even fuck with the rice ones, man. Eyes. I never forget. Days I was to the other conversation. Why yeah, he smoke people right here? And why he tap? Anytime he tap me and whisper, gang, he want a cigarette. Yeah. So now today he slip up and do that. I'm already. If you see, I ain't even looked at him. I'm grabbing him already because I already know what you own. But now I hear app. And I'm like, can I just say that? And he's like, he like, you know, I was. Everybody that watched that video, y'all know. He did not say what he was doing, just like this. He said, hey, hey cool, let me get up. I ain't gonna disrespect it, but hey, cool, let me get up. Uh, 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 I ain't tripping. He like, uh, I ain't tripping. Uh, gave the nigga too. So we don't wanna hear all that shit, bro. You talking too crazy. Now DW gonna wanna, mm, what's happening, bro? What's the deal, bro? I ain't gonna lie, though. I don't respect how, bro, always, when, like, people talk about cities other than, because, see, look, for you out of towners, L.A. is just a small city in California. It's stuff around it, but it's all in the same county, bro, where Wack basically just told y'all. So if somebody, like, from, like, fucking Pomona or something like that, 
or fucking like a sit like Long Beach or something. He be trying to like Pasadena and shit, Pacquiam of the Valley. He be trying to like say that they off brands or like that's how he be talking about niggas from out of you feel me? So I ain't really feeling that gang. I ain't gonna lie on some real shit. That nigga be trying to downplay like real gangs, real gangs and cities that's really like that just because they not from L.A. Like everybody not from L.A., bro. Boy, nigga, keep it real. Don't disrespect him on the phone with the niggas that have been pressing you. Keep it real. So, you know, I'm pretty sure D-Dub and heard all this. We get him in a room and we'll have a conversation about it in a minute. So keep it playing. <laughs> why why are you going to get him fucked up? What said. So the whole time, I'm thinking it's something that nobody's going to catch on to, bro. Had I had known that the mic was in front of his face and I'm looking to the other side because what he's saying is low, but that mic picked up everything, I would have been like, nigga, not one of these snaps or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Like, cuz I'm a funny nigga too. Had it been a, a motherfucking. I do believe that though. I believe that. On some real shit, I believe that. Engagement where it was me and him talking <laughs> and I was focused on him and he did it. I yeah. would tell them, like, yeah, you won't be getting one of these snaps, nigga. It made him white. Nigga made him ask again. I ain't gonna lie, when he be talking, when niggas be pressing him and he be talking and shit, I ain't gonna cap for I feel like he don't really be knowing what to say and shit, bro. He just like, he be like, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro, about that. If you made it this far. Can't tell me how to react to apology from my homeboy because I wasn't even in that space and then he apologized. So I'm thinking like it went up under the roof. Like I couldn't even hear it type shit. Yeah? So that wasn't even it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I, 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 and I'm like, cuz we would have super packed cuz out, like, you know, but it, it, I take I take the L on that one, gang, cuz it do look ugly, bro. It don't matter how much you explain it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But 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 that that's I I I ain't, I ain't gonna be the dead horse, but I just want I just wanted wanted you to to, from from another nigga perspective, this is what all the homies are saying as well. Like, bro, like even when you be saying like, you know what I'm saying, my homeboy, like, it's like to be honest with you, nigga, like you be like niggas just feel like uh, you putting cut over the homies. A nigga understand that's your homie. That might be your best homies. Fuck the hood shit, cause I got best friends that's outside the hood as well. But I'm just saying though, like when it comes to the street nah. shit, bro, you cannot put another nigga before the homies. So when you embracing the nigga, it seems like you embracing the nigga more than you embracing the homies. Or you care about that relationship more than you care about your community, bro. That's what that's what that's what that's what nah. niggas talking about. Nah, that's the you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody. Man, y'all hear how this nigga talking to bro and what he, how he responding to him? I would have been like, nigga, who is you to tell me what, man? Bro, nigga wouldn't even be having that conversation with me. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know what dog on, but hey, Spotty Face, pressing, bro. Ain't That's nobody telling you to rock. Saying. I don't care. Ain't nobody telling you to not be friends with the nigga. Cause, like I said, everybody, everybody understands, bro. Everybody ain't been in a situation not, before. You not. Telling me that a lot of niggas <laughs> fucking cousin, all that, like, damn, cuz, like, no, no, I'm gonna, no, 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 I, I, maybe 600 was right when he said, Brick, baby, a buster. What you think? Let me know. He said, don't fuck with it. Nah, nah, hell no, nah, nah. Some of my, like I said, like, 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 like I said, some of my, some of my best friends, some of these enemies, bro. I don't, I ain't, ain't nobody tell you not to fuck with, fuck with cuz, none of that, blow it and all that. But at the same time, like I said, like, perception is everything, bro. Like, you got a certain shit, like, you, you, you doing media now. Whether you, 
too 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 relaxed are you are, are, are you, you know what i'm saying you glued to the point like you know what i mean like you you like you not really knowing what's going on you gotta understand that perception though bro that's a big platform and you represent a whole community a whole district bro you talking about different cities nigga different states neighborhoods he should have just went up there and been talking about brick baby nigga should have left the rolling 60 shit on in the streets gang i wouldn't even been speaking on none of that shit niggas don't, that's out it's it's bad man so I just felt that was enough right there. Cause, and look, this is not, this is a reaction. And my, everybody is entitled to their opinion, bro. And I have my opinion. And everything that I said, I'm, I meant it. And that's my opinion on things. But this is not a video to bash Brick, baby, or none of that. I fuck with Brick. That's my, that's my rally homie. My rally from 60s, that's his homie. Free Ouija, no cap. But like I was saying, this not a, a like a bash video on Brick because I fuck with Brick and I fuck with the neighborhood. So I'm not bashing nobody, but shit, bro. When you got on this platform, you gave me some, you, you, you contributed to something that I could react to and talk about if I feel some Mickey shit going on. So my thoughts, stingy thoughts, stingy thoughts. I felt like DW and Brick after that podcast, they should have just caught a little friendly. Not even the fuck a friendly, cause ain't no friendlies, but they should have just thundered it out real fast and then shook hands and blew buzz and all that after that. And I bet you he wouldn't have said the T word on accident and bro wouldn't have said the N word on accident no more after that because the law been laid. So if you ain't subscribed to the channel, and if you ain't like the video, like the video. Comment below and tell me what you think about this reaction, man. Out.